What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. Welcome back to the channel. If you're into playing PSP games on your phone or PC, then you probably know about PPSSPP, one of the best PSP emulators out there. But what if I told you there's a potential new contender in town? Yep, I'm talking about Sunshine PSP. Today we're going to dive into whether Sunshine PSP could be the best alternative to PPSSPP. Is it better, is it worse, or is it just a gimmick? Let's find out. It's important to mention that Sunshine PSP emulator was created for educational purposes and is based on the PPSSPP emulator. This is a full tutorial, so watch the entire video carefully. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Okay, first up, what exactly is Sunshine PSP? Well, it's another PSP emulator designed to run your favorite PSP games on mobile. Sunshine emulator for PSP works well on most smartphones and tablets, even budget. It can run huge amount of PSP games using this emulator at full speed. You will feel best gaming experience, get smooth gameplay, and large FPS. That's why the app's UI is quite similar but improved compared to its parent, PPSSPP. Guaranteed. Let's quickly go over how to set up Sunshine PSP. The installation process is quite straightforward, and in some ways, it's even easier than PPSSPP. You can download the emulator from the Google Play Store or the official Sunshine PSP website. The choice is yours. It's a small app, so it will download in a few seconds. After installing, launch Sunshine PSP. The app will ask you to select a folder where PSP data will be stored. Simply click OK and you'll be directed to your phone's internal storage. Create a new folder and name it PPSSPP. Then click Use this folder to allow the emulator to store the data. Now we're inside the emulator and you'll see the main screen where your games will be displayed. Since this is your first time using it, the library will be empty. To add games on Sunshine Emulator, all you have to do Click Browse and navigate to the folder where you've stored your PSP games. Make sure you have legally obtained game files in PSP ISO format. Before playing, let's check out the settings to ensure the best experience. In the Graphics section, you'll find two rendering options, Vulkan and OpenGL. Vulkan is recommended for better performance on low-end devices, while OpenGL is ideal for higher quality on more powerful devices. Start with Vulkan, but switch to OpenGL if your device can handle it. Next is the rendering resolution setting. Higher resolutions make games look sharper but require more processing power. Set this to 4x if your device supports 1080p and adjust it based on performance. For the display resolution, Keep it at native to match your phone's resolution. V-Sync helps prevent screen tearing but can lower FPS, so turn it off for smoother gameplay on lower-end devices. If your device struggles, you can enable frame skipping and start at a low value like 1 to see how it affects performance. Enable show FPS counter and show speed to monitor gaming performance. Now let's move to controls. You can fully customize the touch controls, including the size and position of buttons. Now comes the real test. How does Sunshine PSP perform compared to the almighty PPSSPP? Let's take a look at a few key areas. Speed, graphics, and stability. First and foremost, Sunshine runs games like Riviera, The Promised Land, and Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Impact much more smoothly. PPSSPP struggled with these titles, often crashing or displaying lag, while Sunshine handled them effortlessly. Additionally, the net play in Sunshine is more reliable, especially on older devices, offering a much better multiplayer experience. I also noticed that Sunshine eliminates the need to use frame skipping to maintain performance. Games run smoothly without sacrificing graphics, whereas PPSSPP often requires you to tweak settings that result in visual compromises. One of the most significant advantages is how Sunshine handles game performance. It fixed many of the lag issues I encountered in PPSSPP, especially in high-demand games. I no longer experience the constant crashes or rendering issues that I used to face when changing graphic settings in PPSSPP. If you've got a lower-end device, or you just want a quick and easy emulator that works right out of the box, Sunshine PSP is a fantastic option. It's lighter, simpler, and performs well for most games.